What was he doing in the emergency bunker? Right. Telling Mineta, or well, Mineta overhearing him saying, yes, mm -hmm. the order still stands. Mm -hmm. And now he, now they're turning it into a my word against yours kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, he's completely denying that he ever said that. Of course. Mm -hmm. And that testimony from mm -hmm. Mineta was scrubbed mm -hmm. from the archives. The only three and a half minutes mm -hmm. to be scrubbed from the archives. The moment that Bush or Cheney or Rice or... Uh, uh, the new uh, snow job press secretary show their face on film. I shut the TV off or change the channel because there's not a single word that comes out of their mouth that is credible these days. Nothing. Why should we listen to them? They've, without a shadow of a doubt. That leads me actually into my next question. Uh, one of the main arguments you get is that our administration is too incompetent to have pulled something like this mm -hmm. off. Um, I don't think that you're incompetent if you get elected to that office. There had to be a reason for it. I mean, um, George Bush showed himself to be competent as a governor. Uh, there's something to it. He got elected. Um, I don't think that they were in. They're not. They're certainly not competent enough to uh, to cover up what they are covering up as well as they think they're doing it. <laughs> um, I. I don't know enough about black ops and government, man. But Jesus Christ, it doesn't. It wouldn't surprise me at all. It wouldn't surprise me. I mean, look at you know, look at the resources these people have. Yeah, I think they could have did it. I absolutely think they could have did it. Yeah, you were there. Yeah. And if if they did do it, they did it to me. I was one of the people that they uh, tried to off. <laughs> if the means and the motive were there, uh, where would they pull it off from? You know, the Office of Emergency Management was in Building 7. There was a hardened bunker built to withstand just about anything that New York would face. You figured they didn't find the bunker in the pile. Y yeah. I mean, you know, if it was a progressive collapse and the floors crashed down onto one another, you think there would have been some resistance on the 22nd floor. That that uh, that building was had a lot of important shit in it, <laughs> and it, it there was enough stuff in that building to uh, to bury evidence on other fronts too: financial records, Is government that records. Know, do you have anything you know of specifically? Specifically, no, I don't. Um, but. You know, I mean, we everybody knew that was an important building downtown. You know, the security in the building was pretty serious. You didn't fuck around in that building. Um, you know, that's that's a that's a cop thing to do. Find a decent break room every now and then. Yeah, you you explore your territory, and that's one built building that you didn't screw around in. Um, I'm sorry, man. There's no way that that just fell down on its own. I don't believe it. You know. Somebody can prove to me otherwise, then great. But so far, I, I don't believe it. Yeah, and you were there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I was. You ran from it. And I ran from it. The only reason I went down there is I heard two guys that I knew that were in it. You know. <laughs> uh, how did I end up loose, watching Loose Change? That's good. I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, because I thought that you guys were crazy conspiracy theorists for about two years. I thought that you guys were nuts. I thought that, you know, everything that everybody else, every, every bad thing that was said, I was towing the party line still. And uh, I, uh, my best friend's cousin tried forcing the movie on me for a while. And I was like, that's nonsense. It's nonsense. And I was being a closed minded fool. Um, and when I finally did watch it, they uh, got me a little drunk and I watched it. And the more I watched, the wider my eyes got, and I started listening, you know. Uh, I respect you guys for editing your own film, you know, with the whole, the, the whole first edition with the missile pod theory and whatnot. I re From the moment I saw that, I was like, eh, you know, but I respect what you did. I respect it the way that, you know, I mean, when you said to me that it wasn't even a good way to open a film with, you know, I mean... You know, it shows me that you have interest in in what the word truth really means, you know, figuring it out. Uh, 
And yeah, man, I started uh, doing my homework. And the more I dug, the more I was like, wow, you know? So that's how I came to watch Loose Change. <laughs> and no, you know, yeah, I have PTSD, but no, I'm not crazy. I haven't gone crazy, you know, I haven't, uh, I, 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 I'm not weaker than I was then, or I'm, I'm, I'm the same person. Uh, I just can listen to reason. <laughs> um, that's what, uh, you know, I would appeal to a lot more people to let reason uh, make a decision for you. And, and watch the movie. Thanks. I want to thank you guys. I want to thank people like you who are... Uh, I, people come up to me when they, you know, I tell them about my health or... I, yesterday, when that, that woman said, I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't want sorry. I want you to take that energy. You want, to, you want to pray for me or whatever. Put it into getting an investigation done the right way about this. Um, 3,000 dead deserve better than what they're getting right now. Um, and, you know, it, there's a lot of people out there saying that, you know, I'm one of the, one of the people that you're offending. You're not offending me. You're uh, doing the right thing. Uh, you know, you're not offending a lot of the victims, a lot of the family members of the victims. They want the same thing. They know that what we've been given is a farce. And uh, we deserve better than that.